what is innovation? So let's talk about this for a little bit. Innovation technically is defined as any new idea or process or methodology in the marketplace that makes money. I'm going to make it a little bit broader than that. While I do believe that innovation is any idea or methodology or process or product or any anything at all, and I really want to focus in on idea or way of doing things, but the reality is it doesn't always have to make money, and innovation doesn't have to be productized. It doesn't have to be commercialized to be called an innovation. It can make your day-to-day -day life easier. It can decrease cost, increase efficiency and productivity, build collaboration and teamwork. Innovation today is literally anything that helps move us forward by streamlining, adding value, looking at something differently, bringing your own imagination to the world that we live in. Innovation is truly bringing anything in your mind to life to start creating a positive imprint on the world around us. Innovation is everything. So while in the past a lot of people would think of innovation as the invention of a smartphone, which it is, or a new application, for your mobile device, which it is. It can also be something about a new way to get from point A to point C. It can be a new way of working on teams. Design thinking in Agile is an innovation on a process, a new way of working together. An innovation could be documenting something that's already been done, but the innovation is actually putting into words or pictures what other people see in order to make it real for some folks. An innovation could be you reimagining your morning routine to be more efficient, productive, happy, and healthy going into your day. So what is innovation? It's anything that you can imagine in your mind and bring it to the world around you. And that is really powerful and critical to keep in mind as we go through this. And it might sound hokey, but it's true. Innovation starts with the human imagination. Why is this important? It's really, really important for five reasons. One, innovation is an intrinsic human need. We are built to grow. I'm going to say that again. Human beings are built to grow. Evolution and growth is innate to our human needs. We are all innovators because we are all human. And it is something inside of us that we desire. The reason why, why you're here and you don't know what it means or what you're going to do about it, but you need it because it's intrinsic to your own humanity. It does drive growth. If you're not innovative, you can't grow. And again, innovation could be removing barriers, streamlining processes, doing something unique and different, or just taking that next step. But innovation is the catalyst for growth. It's the fuel that helps us move forward. It's possible and it's important because the human imagination is boundless. You know, if you think about the world that we live in, there are a lot of fixed constraints money, your physical body. We cannot clone ourselves yet. Transportation, to an extent time. But your imagination is boundless. So what's going to set you and your company or your business or your livelihood apart over the next 10 years? It's no longer going to be, did you buy that technology? Did you invest in that CRM? It's going to be, are you using your imagination? Because it is boundless and it is infinite. And that is exactly what's going to drive growth over the next 10 years, harnessing the power of the human imagination. This is relevant for all aspects of your life. We talked about that it can be for the business place. It can be helping management be more effective, developing a new product, streamlining operations or process flows for your team. It could be improving your community or your school. It can be improving your morning routine. How can you wake up 
feeling a little bit more joy and ease in the morning. You know, especially for people that struggle with anxiety or in challenging parts of their lives, creating some kind of innovative way to make the morning a little more bearable or the night a little more bearable is really critical. That drives growth. That sets you up to bring your best energy to the world. That's innovative. And finally, it is actually really easy once you practice. The reason why I do this is because we live in a world where some people make up a lot of jargon and overcomplicate things. This is not that. You can do it. It's totally possible. It's possible because it's actually built into you as a human being. And you just need to know the methodology to do it and practice it. It's innate to you. You didn't stop having an imagination one day. There's not some other group of people who got some crazy expensive degree or have some innate abilities that you don't have. It's actually the opposite. It's beautifully democratized. It lives inside of you. And all you have to do is feel comfortable and do the work that we're doing now to find it, harness it, and exercise it. This is a trademark proprietary matrix that Centrally Human developed specifically for people like you to demystify, harness, and activate against your imagination. How do you turn ideas into innovations? How do you turn an innovation concept into actuality? So we'll walk through this matrix one at a time to really help you understand what it's saying. But the idea is that innovation is everything. That is a broad concept and a broad statement to make. This matrix breaks it down for you. So on the vertical axis, it ranges from net new to optimize. New meaning never existed before. Optimize meaning you're improving something that's already in existence. On the horizontal axis, you've got everything from expansive, it has a wide ranging impact, to iterative, it's something small. But as we all know, a beach is nothing but millions and millions and billions of little pieces of sand. Iterative innovations are really powerful. So let's look at something that sits in the new and expansive quadrant. Something new that changes an organization or literally creates a new market. An example of this would be the smartphone. Right? Did not exist before, created a new market. No one went out and asked for a smartphone. Um, you know, the, the combination of different functionalities and the advancements of this idea of applications and widgets inside a device is pretty net new and expansive. It's global reaching, created new industries, it affects our day-to-day -day life, and it functionally didn't really exist before. So now let's look at something that is new but an iteration. So reimagining something in existence for a business or a functional area or an industry. So a great example of this would be the smartwatch. So when the smartwatch was created, it technically was new, right? It was a, a computer on your wrist and it has a whole different functionality, but it was also iterative and small. You know, people were wearing watches already, so it had that small step change. So you can make an argument that while the technology and the design and the whole industry was new, this idea of wear, wearable devices and technologies, it was an iteration on something that we already did. Watches were already on our wrists and smartphones were already in existence. So that kind of step change, that nudge, made it iterative and, and different versus creating something um, wide reaching. So expansive and optimize Something in this quadrant would be a complete reworking of an existing process or product that affects an organization. The idea of an agile workflow versus a waterfall workflow is something that could fit here. So waterfall is a way of doing business, a way of getting a project, a project or a process done. Agile is a different way of a different means to the same end. So it has wide ranging effects, right? It completely changes the way products, computers, companies exist. The expansiveness across people and processes and verticals, and it's global, it's huge. It's created whole new practice areas and job descriptions and courses in school. And yet we're just optimizing a different way to go from point A to point B.
And then finally, something that op is an optimized and an iterative quadrant. A smaller, subtle adjustment to an existing process that makes a change. So the example I like to use here, if you work in Excel, and you identify a macro or formula that helps shave off five minutes of your time. If you have a non-innovative mindset and identity, you'll make that change and you won't share it because you won't think much of it. But an innovative mindset and an innovator would identify that five minutes saved by one person multiplied by the amount of people that do that is time saved, money saved, and it frees everybody up to either relax, go home early, be less frantic, have freed up brain space to think of new ideas. The possibilities are endless. So it's something small and very iterative and you're just optimizing a way of doing things. But that quadrant is very critical. That's going to be what's going to drive growth for many organizations and individuals over the next decade. We've got a lot in play right now. So the trick is how do you get smart and crafty and iterative and realize the value of small ideas at scale? We're going to stop here. I want you to sit and think about this matrix and then come back to the next lesson and we're going to do an activity. So. This is the innovation matrix. It was developed based on experience, put in practice over many, many years, tested across every single industry, individual, you name it, it works. You're a stay-at-home parent, you're a 15-year-old in high school, you're a corporate executive, anything can be applied to this matrix. Because you're a human being with an imagination, translating that imagination and ideas into something that works mapping it onto the matrix so you can identify where in this realm of innovation does it exist versus throwing it out because you don't think it's big enough or maybe it's too big and then being able to look at it on a piece of paper and plan around it. The trick is to get the idea out of your head and into the innovation matrix. That's what makes it real. That's where the fun can start.